I know things are a little motionless and creepy in here, but I'm sure it's perfectly fine, right? They wouldn't let kids in here if the animatronics were still chewing on their faces. He came in here looking like that, right? Yeah, they seem safe enough. We got Mr. Fastbear and Sonic the Rabbit, the big bird with a fat ass. Actually, I know joking about some of their names is going to trigger people, but you have to remember these are the same people that would gladly be eaten by the sexy robot chicken, so I don't really care. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now, when I woke up this morning, I realized that it's been a while since I punched someone in the fart hole so hard that they exploded. So I figured today, maybe we could go ahead and fix that. We'll start things off with something called the Don't Lose Your Head Challenge, which I think I might be a bit of an expert at by now. It's definitely something that I've been living every single day of my life following, and so far so good. But I'm not sure why it landed me in some kind of robotic version of an early 2000s iPod commercial. At least I have swords. Would you like a sword? You can borrow mine if you be sure to give it back. Did that seriously not anger you? I don't care whether or not you are a robot or Windows or Mac. If somebody throws a sword at your dick, it's go time. I'm guessing that's why they gave us multiple swords and multiple robots. Okay, you know what? We could use a little bit of color in here. It's a touch too black and white for my liking. Oh my God. I thought this was the don't lose your head challenge. Not the don't lose your lunch challenge. Oh, I don't like it at all. I just want to close my eyes and swing. Am, am I hitting things? Am I good? I'm not good. Oh, that's a lovely shade of red. Wow, I was not expecting that. That must be why they sent robots. Because they can't throw up, right? They have a distinct advantage. Unless they're some kind of creepy bang bot. In which case, you can't take my heads, but you're welcome to give a little. Ow, okay, that hurt. Maybe we'll just stick to the little guys. Oh yeah, I like this. If we can just look down, uh, avoid seeing too much of the walls, then this kind of works. Maybe a little bit, let's, let's go this way. That's a little better. Get the sword on the inside track, and then we might be able to kill some of them. Oh yeah, some of them are dying. It's just we're not making a, a lot of progress. It's feeling less like combat, more like yard work. I'd have easier time cutting down bushes in these strange little robo-hobbits. Will you please stop punching me in the taint? Okay, I know I started by throwing a sword at the big guy's dick, but still. <laughs> Not okay. Oh yeah, we got lots of red in here now. I'm gonna save up for Berserk because I do not think Shockwave is gonna do anything here. But we're down to eight, seven, okay, and... Berserk. Okay, and you know what? I take it back. We're going back to dick shots. <laughs> Do you regret your decision? Ow. Okay, they can still hit me even in slow motion. Good to know. Just make sure to blow up the balls. <laughs> Come on. It's not below the belt if the belt is above your head, okay? There's three left. It must be... Oh, it's not the little guys. It's not the little guys. It's still one big guy <laughs> whose entire bottom half I seem to have hit off. Okay, hold on. You... You and eh, 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 oh, did I, oh no, I won. Okay, for a second there, I, I thought I just fell outside of whatever the hell this map is. Moving on to what's hopefully a less vomit-inducing level called Kindergarten 2. Now, some of you guys may remember that I played a level called Kindergarten that involved a whole bunch of aliens posing as students at a school. It was a bit of an outbreak. They were trying to take over the neighborhood, but I got rid of most of them. I think the few survivors were brought to this containment facility, and I want to make sure that these guys are taking the threat seriously, but I don't know if they're actually going to let me in. Hold up a second, I recognize you. You're Rachel's son. Rachel, right? like, I'm really surprised that your mom would let you bring that sign that I made for her to work today. <laughs> She's clearly gonna need it once I go visit, if you know what I mean. Please don't hit me with that stick. I don't know if you realize this or not, but I was the one who saved the planet from those little aliens. And your friend isn't a big fan of mom jokes. And your mouth looks like a sideways vagoo. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I don't suppose I could just summon the elevator. You guys would mind your own business. 
Does that seem reasonable? Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Maybe they do recognize me around here. Uh, is there a reason you're so close that you can smell my face? Would you like to smell my fingers? I've got plenty more mom jokes. <laughs> Excuse me. Finally, someone is showing a little bit of respect around here. That's right. Uh, what the hell is that? And I don't mean the security corset. I mean the giant blender. Oh. I thought this was a prison. Turns out it's an extermination facility. I think we're turning all these aliens into dog foods. Listen, guys, like I, I can appreciate the fact that golden retrievers can't tell the difference between these things and chicken. <laughs> like, I have no doubt that it's a very profitable business. <laughs> but I gotta ask, why do it in the dark? Should that be happening right now? Or is that they're doing? Because they definitely outnumber us, and they're very squirrely. Um, there a reason that thing is on a sensor? <laughs> Weird. Uh, maybe I could go talk to the people in tech, see if they are a little bit constipated. Okay then. I'm gonna be borrowing this. No wonder they were tempted not to let me in. I look like I skinned a couch and made a suit out of it. Should I be concerned that the only friends I have down here are the janitor and the piano player? Why are you even here? <laughs> I can understand he's gonna have a whole lot of mess to clean up, but do you really need to play him off? Strange, let me check this room. Maybe there's some more guns in here. Okay, that that's a, a whole bunch of big fancy guns that I can't take. I could take these ones, though. You just hang out here. I'm sure I'll be back sooner rather than later. Guys, the chopping process is taking too long. I'll, I'll deal with things. There we go. Ow, ow, rude. I didn't mean to hit you, my friend. You just keep playing. Keep on playing. Oh, is the janitor that I hit. Ah, oh, crap. Well, he was the more important of the two right now. Ah, ah, I can't, can't see them. Charlie's in the trees. <laughs> Everything is pain. I just gotta shoot at the ground. I'm bound to hit the freaking. I told you these things are squirrely. Oh, they're gonna swarm him. Wait, can't I just uh, do a little something like. Ow, ow. Okay, they've learned to jump. They've learned to jump. That, that's a problem. That's a major problem. I wanted to do this fairly. Honestly, I truly did. But uh, you guys aren't gonna fight fair, are you? Oh, wait. I. I gotta actually shoot because I have a sliver of health left. Those are thousand dollar bills. Oh yeah, we're killing everyone down here. I don't suppose you point dexters have a giant button I can press or, or a code I can enter to mint everything in line, you know, save me a whole lot of time. Can we take a second to appreciate the fact that this guy stabbed a radioactive tomato? If you would let it bit you, you would have turned into Captain Sauce. How about you? He's too busy smelling his keyboard. Okay, well, I, I guess we're just gonna do a little something like that and then maybe get a nice comfy spot in the corner and let them come to us. Hey, 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 calm, calm down. Now, janitor, I'm gonna do my best to protect you. Just try to keep him off your back. Ow, I could keep him off my own back though. That, that's a completely different story. No, janitor, janitor, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine, janitor. We're totally not getting overwhelmed. I'm backing up to the rage cage. Okay, no, nobody's allowed in my rage cage. Back up. If anything, I'm playing things extra safe right now because I really don't want one of these extraterrestrial toddlers to come in here and maybe eat the tomato, turn into a tiny, freaky Captain Sauce. Are they all dead? Everything is not dead. Everything is not even kind of dead. All right, you know what? Spray and pray it is. <laughs> there we go. Better? Definitely a little better. Oh, the guy's still playing the piano. Oh, they got guns. They they raided the armory. That's not good. I kind of figured they would not be able to understand those. <laughs> it's so squishy in here. <laughs> How are we looking? Good? Oh, we're looking great. We're, we're looking wonderful. Anybody else alive? Anyone? Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, you're still smoking? They're literally coming in here grabbing guns and you're just having a draw. I can't believe that. Three left. One is you, one is me. One is probably in this pile somewhere. Maybe. Oh, it's the guards. <laughs> you idiots. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Now it's just you and me. 
You want to get out of here? How do you guys do that? How much ass support could you possibly have? A, a lot of core strength and I'm done talking. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Assuming that's the elevator button. Here we go. I thought I killed you. Are we good? Don't worry. There's proper signage. Nobody's going to slip in that. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for that being a prison. Since when do I have to wait in line to get into a level? Are you kidding me right now? Like, I know the place is packed, but like I have reservations. <laughs> this is a level called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Grand Reopening, which I guess is a big deal. Dude, I swear to God, yeah, if you fold your arms one more time, I'm gonna fold you like a cheap chair. I know things are a little motionless and creepy in here, but I'm sure it's perfectly fine, right? They wouldn't let kids in here if the animatronics were still chewing on their faces. He came in here looking like that, right? Yeah, they seem safe enough. We got Mr. Fastbear and Sonic the Rabbit, the big bird with a fat ass. Actually, I know joking about some of their names is going to trigger people, but you have to remember these are the same people that would gladly be eaten by the sexy robot chicken, so I don't really care. They, however, I'm going to try not to piss off because they're like 10 feet tall and have arms as thick as telephone poles. <laughs> not all that interested in getting turned inside out. Oh, there's another one. They got Balloon Boy in the corner. Okay, I'm sure the kids love him. Are you okay? What the hell is happening? I mean, I know he's terrifying, but... <gasps> what am I hearing in the next room? Uh, should I be... Oh, this isn't a closet. This is like a little private party room where they're beating the crap out of one of them. All right, I don't want anything to do with that. Slowly backing away. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to play some of the arcade games to win tickets and earn myself the invisible prizes. <laughs> I'm not waiting in line anymore. I'm sure there's got to be more. There's at the very least got to be a place for me to go check out the cameras, right? And a place for me to go take a dump. Very important. You think there are any animatronics hiding in here? Or uh, purple dudes? Or maybe Fluffles? Fluffles, are you here? Are you right side out? Are you... Pooping? Oh, this just might be a regular person. You're just a regular person pooping. Why am I yelling this at you? <laughs> Can you imagine eating a whole bunch of cheese and then just going and taking a dump at a pizzeria and having somebody verbally confirm this to you? <laughs> what did that say? Adventure Gamer was here. I'm sure he was. I'm gonna borrow this. Hopefully he won't mind. Isn't this supposed to be a children's restaurant? Why would they serve beer? There's, there's beer bottles in here, as well as a lady smoking and haunted doors. All right, well, there's a lantern and nothing else. <laughs> You're so lucky that I don't want to piss off the robots, otherwise I would stab you right here and now. <laughs> I don't want bloodshed because I'm sure as soon as there is, they're gonna start going bananas. Please tell me you have a face. Oh, great. That that was very confirmatory. All right, well, I'm not going in there yet. I'm, I'm going to continue exploring a couple more. Oh, nope. Nope. Don't know what that's all about. Not interested. Some more little party rooms off to the sides. Okay. Nothing creepy going on in any of these. Just uh, the janitor. <laughs> and oh, great. Vents. Gigantic vents. Oh, no. I don't like this. Maybe I will go stab the little robots. You guys really are jacked up, aren't you? Your picture's on a wall. What is wrong with me? So does that mean these are pictures of pizza on a wall? Or are these pizzas on a wall? It's really hard to tell. And again, I'm not going to stab you quite yet. Okay. Should I go in there? Hmm. Yeah, that, that's super creepy. Oh, I don't like that. <gasps> let's eat. Let's not. Let, let's absolutely not. You guys are pretty dead, I think. I can't see in here all that well. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. I, I don't know if you have a face. Oh, he did. Oops. 
Oh, and people are panicking. Got you stab one person in a pizzeria and everyone loses their goddamn mind. I'm gonna go in here then. <gasps> Just gonna press that button. Oh, it actually lights things up. Clever, okay. And if I press this, then uh, that, that does something, maybe? Please stop. <laughs> you don't get a knife in FNAF, I wish you did. What is that? Oh, it makes my glass light up. I don't know if I would really need radioactive beer at a time like this. So, are we safe in here, or? Very tricky, all right. Boop! Just the, the vent bum stabber. Oh, so, sorry about that, kid. Oh, can I please have that back? It was it was like the only weapon in a pizzeria. Yeah, I'm not gonna get anything off the prize shelf, that's for freaking sure. So are the animatronics not gonna attack? I thought for sure they'd be ripping people apart. Unless I'm an animatronic. Oh my God, I'm the new fast bear, yes! I will make you proud, Papa Fazbear. There will be blood during this reopening. <laughs> it's like I said, there aren't that many weapons in a children's restaurant, go figure. So I just find myself using chairs and paper plates. <laughs> They're not exactly the most reusable. Look at him just standing there reveling in the mayhem. I'm thinking maybe if I crush enough tiny skulls, then I can earn Chica's hand in marriage. I, I know I joked about that earlier, but I'm not above it. Make me wait in line again, will ya? I don't think so. Sorry about that, sport. I, I didn't mean to kick you in the forehead. Oh my God, what? People just kind of run up, get a cheap shot in, and then run away. Why is everyone such a freaking coward in this pizzeria? What the hell happened in here? I, I didn't even get here yet. I, I, this wasn't me, was this you? Finally managed to get up and get your revenge, did you? I, I shouldn't be in here, what am I thinking? Everybody else is still in place? What about the dark room in the back? Are, are they still all hanging out? Can't imagine they've gotten up and done anything, have they? No, everything's fine. What about these corners, can I like, Back over here. Oh, oh, you don't want to come in here. Wait, wait, what is what is that? That's, that's a guitar. I've got a guitar. I've got the power of Freddy's guitar. And it's gone. God damn it. Remind me to send a strongly worded letter to the local chair factory because they have some real shoddy work. Every single chair can only hit somebody once or twice and then it explodes. Does it make any sense? It's not even Ikea quality, it's below that. It's almost like they make furniture and crackers and there was a mix up in production. You go on one little killing spree in a local pizzeria screaming about how you're an animatronic tomato and you wanna marry the chicken and then before you know it, they send you to a psychiatric hospital. This is called Psychiatric Hospital Mike's Story, chapter three, act one. It's a part of a big series. I've played a bunch of these before. They're always really good. I don't have a red key, however, so I guess we're just gonna go with the vent. I do have a red crowbar and a whole bunch of squishy knees that I can make red. Sector, what does that say? Sector ver, okay. Uh, hello there orderlies and not so orderlies. I'm guessing those shocky sticks are meant for my taint, but only one of you have figured out how tables work. Uh. How am I gonna get my way out of this one? Probably just by busting heads. Yeah, who's the one with the head of a tomato now? You want a lobotomy? Yeah, we can all have lobotomies. Would you guys freaking keep it down? Chris is sleeping and he's got a little bit of Fred on his head. <laughs> he's gonna wake up to a very confused meeting. Okay, yeah, you guys woke him up. That's not good. Now I'm gonna have to deal with him. Careful. Careful, don't want to get shocked any more than I have to. We good? I think we're good. <laughs> Just gotta walk my way out of here, right? Could still use a red key. Oh, we're not good. Now yeah, we're good. <gasps> oh, take health. Oh, huh. All right. I don't know if I should be injecting myself with anything like that. Unless I want to become some kind of teenage mutant ninja tomato. <laughs> still no red key. Do you have a red key? Would it be in your red nose? Doesn't look like it. Uh, vents, vents are my friend. Just keep slipping on through and dragging my balls on the ground. Sector ver, second ver, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the acronym, guys. Just, just give me a second, please. 
Maybe I should have taken my pills this morning, because I, I can't tell if this is a way out or a vending machine. <laughs> like, it it's flush to the wall. It, it could serve a, a bunch of really bland flavors of soda, or it could be like a, a Simon Says lock. I'd never be able to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll keep looking. Like, would they have two vending machines right next to one another, or would they have two doors right next to each other? That would make a lot more sense, about as much sense as this invisible wall. Not going up there, I guess. <laughs> so something down here for me? We got a door. Okay, hello? No one. Computer and, oh, there is someone, hi! <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I just wanted to see if there was a red key in your head, but there's just red goo. Oh crap, I need a yellow key too. I wasn't pounding their pissers, so how am I supposed to find those? <laughs> you got a key in there, bud? Come on, give me give me some of the yellow. I know you got one. <laughs> Poor janitor, he was just minding his own damn business. Where are all these frigging keys? Oh my god, do you have a key? Hello? <gasps> I'm, oh, hi, you're spooking me. Hey, 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 it's, it's cool, it's cool. I know you guys don't have keys. Actually, you would, wouldn't you? Is your maintenance? Anything? Anyone at all? No? It was a vending machine. Okay, well, live and learn <laughs> for some of us. <laughs> oh, come on. We got another vent. And, ooh, more health? Don't mind if I do. That looks interesting. Do I want to get in there? Kind of do. I, I want my freaking key. Okay, oh, oh, we'll take the vent. How about that? Might be able to sneak my way around through here. Oh, that's a lot of red. Watch me find the key in like a red box or, or a, a red shelf or something like that. Am I stuck? I don't know if this is a way out. I might be stuck. Oh no, getting stuck in an air vent is actually a terrifying prospect. Yeah, I, there, there's no getting out of here. You see, that is exactly what I don't want to happen to me. There's gotta be a way out of this place. Please don't mummify me in the recirculated air. Have I been down through here? They all look the same. This looks promising. I'm not seeing any bodies, but we do have the locked door and a key. Wonderful. Okay, now we're getting places. Let's see if we can find ourselves a red key. I've definitely been here. All right, I'm looping back around. So yellow key is not gonna get me in any of these places, but I think it can get me downstairs here. Would that be helpful? Oh! I died at the exit. Why? You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. It's like I said, it's been a while since I've played the game, so there are a bunch of levels for me to play now. If you guys want to see more, please stop picking a champion to send up onto the table. I'm trying to do an outro, thank you very much. But if you guys want to see more, then leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to smash some people again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.